Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, guys. It's Laser Shen. Once again with AI Insomnia Files Part 4. Hello, hello. Let me turn myself down a little bit here. I'm just a tad bit loud for your eardrums tonight. But welcome in, guys. It is Episode 4 of AI Insomnia Files. We're picking up where we left off. Very excited to be back in the hot seat, of course. As for well, always. Ryuki? I'm counting on you. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. Bouncy, bouncy, of course, bouncy of course. Bunny. That co-appearance was like <laughs> a bouncy dream bunny, come dude. true. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max. Pachaka Wait, Max. The Ferris wheel. Yep. So last time we went ahead and interviewed a bunch of different people. So we now have the ability to play the eyebally, of course. But uh, other than the eyebally. We, uh, we've just finished interviewing, uh, what is his name, Andes? Andes? <laughs> I don't remember his actual full name. All I know is his first name is not Japanese. Anyway, we just finished, uh, interviewing uh, Iris and Amame, as well as Ota, uh, Mizuki, and whatever her name was. I can't remember her name. Oh, sorry, Kizuna, that's right. And as well as Moma and Chinpei. Plus this whatever square head guy. And now we're on our way to back to Abyss to report our findings, which is basically nothing. <laughs> but before that, let's play the Ibali for the day. What is your preferred cacao ratio in chocolate? I, I like me a 60%. I like me a 60%. Uh, I'm into a little bit of sweetness. I'm not into that much, you know, super sweetness. 30 to 60 is all fine by me but I like it a little bit on the bitter side. Brave plus three. It's the same success rate as Dante using <laughs> eye dropsies. I became a childy. Tell me Mori. Thank you, next question waiting. Okay, cool. We got a, we got a wizard eyebally. That's cool. As long as he, you know, grows up nice and big and strong, you know, we can get some eyeballs as a currency, which is nice. We can buy Thomas some clothes. Perhaps. You're going back to Abyss? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then, why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. That's right, we can. Wait, we, we can do it in the limousine. Yo, it's Tom, lady. Scream like a little girl, roar like a ferocious beast, recite the sutras. Yo, let's recite the sutras. Essence of the Sutra of Great Wisdom, which permits us to go further. The Bodhisattva of the True Freedom, through the deep practice of the Great Wisdom. I thought it was Bodhisattva. Whatever. Oh, Sariputra. Phenomena are no different to emptiness. Emptiness is no different to phenomena. <laughs> phenomena return to emptiness. <laughs> emptiness becomes phenomena. He keeps going. He, 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 Tom, can you say something to stop him from going? This is a little too much. This is a little too much on the much side. She didn't. She this didn't say anything. This incomparable mantra tells us, <laughs> on, on, together, further than beyond, oh God. to the shore of Satori. Oh my God! Shut up! Stop shouting! Thank you, God. But you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an S and M pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> That's very, uh, very on the nose accurate for for sure. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? You don't have to phrase it like that, lady. I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. Th that is strange. Just, just close your right eye, then. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Uh, I guess it is like somewhat easier than just like thinking of a person in my head. Hey, what's up, Tama? The reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Yeah, we don't know anything about this. Let's organize our information first. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. Yeah, whose fault is that, huh? I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's you, Tom. I'm just saying it in general, you know? <laughs> whose fault is it, really? If I had to say one thing, it would be the ViewCube video in that QR code link. Yeah, as along with the other ViewCube video from like a year and a half ago. It must be related somehow, right? 
because they're, they're both the same style of video. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. Thank you. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. The QR code video on ViewCube. You don't know? I think it was about half a oh, year ago. Oh, half a year ago, not a year and a half. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. I, I guess you could. I guess you could. Like, uh, just assume it's a copycat. Y you know what I mean? The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. <laughs> hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I mean, I watched. We, we watched it last time, guys, on YouTube. Maybe not on ViewCube no more, but at least on YouTube it's still up. There, there must be some re-uploaders too, right? I looked it up. Here it is. Oh, we don't, we don't have to wait. We can just watch it right now. Here we go. So those are the bats. Oh. I didn't even recognize them as bats. That's what you know I would never find out the secret of the world. This is like uh, when I when I killed Midori the other day. <laughs> and then he didn't die. He just turned into jello. Rip me, burn me. There must be some, you know, code in this video, right? I wonder if it's possible to figure it out by yourself without like, you know, them, the game telling you. Because obviously some people in the game, in the game's world, have already figured it out. But for us, you know, idiots, of course. And the bads, too. Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. It's kind of convenient you can just like watch a video in your left eye. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Damn, even an AI has no idea, huh? Where did Bats 490 come from? Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. It became some viral hit. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. Yeah, it, it was some Japanese name on YouTube. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think of this car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just mm. looking at it. What do you mean? What's the what's the what's the problem? Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh really? What the heck? Right now, using the car's camera to steal the car remotely. I am, of course, controlling the gas and brakes. Send the signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. Okay, so it's a okay. Why I see. don't you take the leap and buy a different car? Uh, because I don't have money. I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Oh, it's a it's a gift. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to say it. You would know. Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago... Six years ago... Six years ago, okay? Uh, everything happened six years ago, man. It's always six years ago. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but... Remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? Hmm... For some, some reason, reason, just that I could travel through time, time and space. space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And don't tell me you believe that. No, I, I don't believe it, but I, what else can I say? No, just... For some reason, it's stuck in my head. <sighs> I mean, I suppose so. Okay, she's done. Incoming call. Yuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. From Mizuki? Mizuki? <laughs> I'm connecting her. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from boss. I I'm glad to know you're your buddy buddy with my boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. Th thank you, That's per this is perfect timing. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. Yes, indeed. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. Someone in your school, did he get kidnapped? He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Shoma Enda. He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya. 
Th thank you. Shoma. Isn't that? So he's a big shot. It's like one of those like kid hackers that everyone knows. Andy's Komeji's. Andy's Komeji's son is Shoma Endo? Whoa. So he gave, he, he gave, you know, his lifeblood and essence to a super genius hacker kid. Damn, that's crazy. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> he's he's ignoring him. Oh, so so Shoma has a, a normal face. So what happened to your dad, man? Can somebody tell me? TV. What is that on top? It looks like a like a big bottle or like a pair of pants. Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device. Oh, it, it is a bottle. I see. I was like, I couldn't tell what it was from this angle. It's a it could, with a dedicated tuner. Hmm. A CRT. Useful for time travel. It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. You're a saddle? <laughs> tama, tama, tama. Wait, this was supposed to be touching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you laugh more often than you breathe. That's also very true. What is that lucky laugh? It's a lucky laugh game. The face parts are all out of order. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a mm, goddess from Japanese Ame no mythology. Uzume. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. Obviously, this is a very fun house, as you can see, by the doll in the corner. Is this a point for the quiz? It's a Gundam? A toy robot. It's old. Looks like a memento for the quiz king. Someone, oh, this is uh, his toolbox, huh? A toolbox. Kotatsu. Is it, there's a red buzzer here. Let me press it. I can't press it. Okay. That's not bad. There's an easel hammer. <laughs> these are some these are some Smash Bros weapons. So Shoma grows up to become a Smash Bros it's guy. Add a rooster. Add a rooster. Who the hell's a door? Oh, it's like Add a rabbit. It's a character. It's like Add a rabbit but nastier. And also a rooster, which makes him automatically nastier. Not to be offensive towards roosters, I'm just saying, you know? Some things are just right in the world, and other things are not. Somebody is- this is the mom dead? Shoma, about your father. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji. <laughs> Thank you. And his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Yoneharu right? Enda. Okay, he's not answering me. How about Mizuki? I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki? But he graduated and became top of his class in the Navy SEALs, and then he, uh, you know, went to college at age 12. She's actually the one who told me about you. It's machine parts. What are you talking about? What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. <laughs> Don't tell me you're making a bomb in your own house. Okay, what about Bats 490 You code? know about the video called Bats 490, right? Please respond to me, kid. I have a feeling it's related to the QR video Kid, somehow. please. You have to work with me. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? <sighs> Maybe because he's wearing headphones. So he, he wasn't even hearing us the whole time. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from him. <laughs> He's just ignoring me. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. The chastity belt on his heart? Can you not call it that? He's like 12. What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. <laughs> Bro, I... You gotta, you gotta, Tama, you gotta stop with these. Um, so what you mean is... He probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart. His key, the key to his heart is you sponsor him so he can go to the Ferris wheel again. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. It better be this toy robot or I'm gonna freak. A key to open the lock on his heart. Of course, I love this game. Uh... It's not, you'll have to find the key to his chastity belt st st first. Stop it. Stop calling it that. What? He'd probably run away. It's pretty warm. How is The robot is so cool. He didn't say nothing. Okay, how about this door, uh, door uh, rooster? I don't think that's gonna be the key. The kitchen, refrigerator, closet, x-ray. What oh. is that? It looks like a robot. He's been building some big robot guy inside the- I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? 
Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is the key then. We found the key. This is it, guys. We're in. Like, huh? How do you know about that? I'm psychic. Do you mind showing me the robot in your closet? <laughs> I'm psychic. If this is not an I'm psychic moment from, from the Date core, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, well... Uh... Oh, say it. Ooh, say it. Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Fuck. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? Mm hmm of course. That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Okay. Easy clap. Yo! It's a one-wheeler. Got a unicycle moment. It's also somehow still standing, even though it has only one you wheel. You made that? Yeah. I call it Robata. Robata. You, okay, kid. You gotta work on the naming scheme a little. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. It's a junk shop. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. I see. Fine-tuning it is really hard. I mean, genius man, genius boy. Talk to me, Shoma. Complimented. That's incredible. I'm impressed that you made it all by yourself. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Now, don't lay on the sauce too hard at the beginning, yeah? Looks like the lock has opened. Don't gotta, don't gotta sauce him so much, you know what I mean? Looks like it. Otherwise, bad things will happen. It looks like the lock has opened up. For sure, for real. Let's go. Okay, now we can talk to him, right? About your father. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. Yeah, we know that. But sorry. <laughs> but sorry, I have no information for you. I don't really want to talk about him. Oh, no, really? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> because I think he's a failure of a, of a parent and a man. Why does it matter? Oh my god. About Mizuki. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course not. She's just a classmate. Even though she's cute? That uggo? Yo. She's not cute at that all. That uggo? Dude, yeah. I love kids, man. They just be talking out of their ass. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Dude, he's got the hots for Mizuki? That's crazy, Mizu- There's no way. Yeah, I can tell. You don't need to see the x-ray vision for that, or the thermo. Okay, kid. No. I solved it. Oh. You solved the hmm? what? Oh, the code, right? He solved, he solved the BATS 490 code. The BATS 490 code. I solved it. Okay, can you tell me what it is? Um, how? I have to go soon. So I'll tell you the short version. Okay, thank you. This is perfect. The short version is exactly what I want. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Just say something, kid. Horidori Lab. Horidori Lab. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Okay, and then they all said, I, I know the secrets of the world, and they all got disappeared? What's down there? Time to see if there's a secret underground facility in the Horadori Institute of Genetics. Oh, it totally looks like an like Asian building. Uh, every single building, dude, looks like this. I don't know why. In Japan, in China. Oh my god. I heard about it last night on the news. Uh, sir. Um, I, I don't know how to say this to you. But the, the forehead game. You know, it's it's a it's a little bit it's a little bit something. Uh, you know, what I mean, truly unprecedented. What a mysterious sign. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Is that who the fuck is that in the back? He hasn't retired yet. His sixtieth birthday was last okay, year. Chikara, Chikara, Chika, Chika, yeah, Chikara, scientist. They're wearing typical protective garb. Okay, cool robotic arm, nice. A robotic arm binder. Not the chest kind, that's a door. Excuse statue. Me. What is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Okay, big forehead gaming man. Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. 
I actually like grotesque things. Uh, I bet, Tama. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we know. Don't don't gotta tell me twice. Chair, a high stool, a low stool. No chair joke, huh? This is this is not the kind of game with a chair joke, it seems. So let's let's not bother, okay? As sad as it is to say, to admit, it's time for us to talk with Chi Oh, center monitor. Time to talk with Shigakara. About Gein. About Jin, sorry. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I'm still I'm still hung up on playing uh, your turn to die. I've only read some articles about him online. Some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. That's true. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. <laughs> okay, then we have, we have one thing in common. We have nothing in common. <laughs> You're both directors of something. I mean, you don't have to be so smug about it. What are you doing around 6 a.m. on the 9th? Jin's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. Uh, I mean, that's probably likely. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> He's the kind that gets to work like 40, 40 minutes late. Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. Okay, well, I'm, I won't tell you that, but it's true. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Good on you, Ryuki. Good for you. Your dream came true. <laughs> I live alone now. Unfortunately, oh, there's no one with me at home. I'm downloading- I'm slowly downloading the Ryuki Tama the wavelength here. I like them, actually. Chikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years She's old. She's 32 years old? His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. Okay, that makes sense. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's, that's true, I suppose. That's right. Hmm. Put the QR video. Uh, it was mentioned on the news, but the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video. And I've heard it points to this research institute. Interesting. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, he could deny all day. I I feel like this is like uh, gonna go nowhere. Perhaps someone just made it up. He's like this. He's like, oh my god, he totally knows. He totally knows. This is like a a Sosajima, you know, bit. But it's time to play the eyebally. What martial arts are you good at? I'm I'm very good at um, dude. I'm, I'm very, very good, as you guys know, in uh, breaking people's arms as well as Muay Thai. I love me a Muay Thai. I think I think Muay Thai and Capoeira are, you know, two very cool styles. I think Sistema is the brutal style and Brazilian is just all around very good. They're all very cool styles, uh, but I'm very partial to Muay Thai for a lot of reasons. Muay is a fist fight in Thai. That's true. I'm six, 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 six across the board, guys. Let's go. What does impish even mean in this context? About con uh, the institute. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Gene therapy, okay. Are you familiar with genome editing? Uh, th th yes, I'm very familiar. Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is common. Oh, it's this is CRISPR stuff. It's fucking cut and paste. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Mm hmm. I didn't understand, understand that at all. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. He's like, thank God, this guy. I don't have to teach this guy the basics. He's like, he's not a stupid kid after all, huh? Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call uh, purge. Purge? That doesn't sound terrifying at all. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, <sighs> so suddenly goes away like that. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. But that's not all. Dude, this guy is way too proud of himself. In theory, using purge. Even immortality is achievable. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ, man. A little too intensive a gaze for me. Thank you, immortality. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. 
Yeah, but the, the reason people age, right, is because like their their telomeres or whatever like degrade. So it, I guess in theory, like if you were able to stop the degradation of your of your DNA, you would be able to live forever. G given that you don't get like blown up or some shit, you know, if you just lived in a safe environment all your life, you could theoretically never die. However, it can make death due to old age a thing. To yes, exa act. exactly. Can purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, so, well, I maintaining don't have... a permanent state of youth. I don't have to even explain it. That's crazy. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. I wonder when we'll get there, guys. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. And if it's even, like, a good idea, you know? I feel like e even if, like, a government had found out, like, how to do it, they probably still wouldn't go along with it. You know? Just the idea... Just the idea of everyone living forever, even while well, we already have, like, 8 billion people on Earth, and then, like, more so, every, like, minute, th thousands of kids are born. And if everyone just is immortal, we'll never hear the end of it, right? The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. What do you think? Isn't what that wonderful? I don't know what to think, actually. Huh. Okay, well, that's something for sure. Are we gonna keep talking? Are you we... okay? Thank God. Don't you think something is off about Jikara? You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. Whoa, Raid Shadow Legends. Play now for free. I'm not sponsored, guys. But Raid, if you want to sponsor me, you know, I don't mind. Mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take you to a page to try to force you to download a different game. Kind of like advertising fraud. Thermo. Huh. His temperature is abnormally high. He's very... Isn't it? He's very, very nervous for me to be here right now. Because he knows that I'm on to him, right? Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you hmm. think he's upset about something? Probably. Probably upset Yuki, about something. Let's find out if he's hiding something. Wink sink. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So this is our first time wink sinking. Wink sink is a simplified version of sinking. You can analyze the brain waves of a synced uh, subject and temporarily look into their dream. Select Ch Chikara with the cursor. Choose wink sink icon to view a simplified version of his dream. Wink sink. Oh, okay. <laughs> You gonna put his hand out like that? Non suspicious. He has seen the video. He has seen the video. Wing Sync is a simplified version of Sinking, but you're still taking a look inside their dreams. And dreams are made from memories, so there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying. Chikara knows about Bats 490. He was lying to us earlier. Yeah, he knows. Mr. He knows Chikara, all about Bats 490. Can you accompany me to the station? Wingsink is a simplified version of sinking from the AI ball, me. A strong magnetic wave is shot out of the sink target, uh, out to the sink subject. This simply numbs the subject's brain and puts their brain into a faux sleep state and induces a dream. By analyzing the faint wave, uh, brain waves emitted during this, we can see parts of the dream. It is not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, a regular sink needs to be performed. A wing sink can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. I need to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. Interesting. What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Ooh, I got you where I want you, huh? Very well. I'll go with you. But then I'd be, they'd look bad for you, huh? If you're like, ah, well, I don't want to speak to you no more. Got something to hide, huh? If you truly have nothing to hide, Mr. Chikara, you would talk to me. Box with me. Sock with me. You know what I'm saying, Dogga. Back in the sink room. Big head man is here. Knock the hell out. Okay, nice. Boss, any progress in the investigation? There hasn't been any progress yet. They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. <laughs> A little bit of natto. Okay, about Chikara. It's possible. Her name is uh, Shizue... Sh Shizue Kuranushi. 
about Chikara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? It's fine. What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Yeah, but I'm above the law. This is abyss we're talking about. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. <laughs> Where's the Who knows? Zidate? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. Yo, that I want to play. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tama. The nipple game is a game in which a man get asks a woman to guess which where their nipple is while their shirt is on. Even if a guy asks a girl to do it, it's kind of problematic. Uh, thank you, we know. It's Dante we're talking about. He's the most problematic person on Earth. How about Chikara? I got Thomas' report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she yes. believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. Yes, indeed. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. I think he's in on it for sure, but I'm not sure how. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video. Right? Why would he lie, right? If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. That's, uh, it might be true, sometimes. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. <laughs> I like what you're thinking, boss. You see, boss's intuition is not wrong, though, you know? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always uh, you here. You sure you shouldn't be behind bars, Mr. Jailman? Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year, you were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? Well, that only happened November of last year? You leaked internal police information. Not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. Whoops, it's, it's complicated, but it was me. Don't worry. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... In this case, yes. Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. She pulled a lot of strings for a fucking pewter, huh? I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. <laughs> oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. I don't know if that's, uh, you know... I know about... Mm, a dozen. Ooh. I'm counting on you. Abyss is kind of scary. Uh, you get used to it. It's true, you do. Otherwise, you can't make it, you know? Maybe that's why you see the bottle. Shall we get started? Ryuki, you know what to do. Okay, well, we didn't get to talk Sing to her the whole time. Uh, there's so many much, much more dialogue I didn't get to click on. This is not so cool. Hmm. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit right there. Good shit right there. Let's go. Time to sink. Whew. This should be easy. Six Ryuki, minutes. This isn't your first time sinking. Yes, I know. Six minutes. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So I'm sure you know without me telling you. But I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's alright. I know. <laughs> He's the most polite out of all of them. Okay, then. Let's begin. I mean, what's the harm, though, you know? Like, if you switch bodies, you switch back after no? Is it a problem? It should be completely fine. Uh, there's no, like, lasting damage, right? We've seen, we've seen people switch bodies many times, and... Nothing bad happens to them. Although... I, I, although I suppose, you know, losing your memories is a valid risk. Nah, I should be fine. Let's see, where the hell are we? What the what hell? What is this place? <laughs> Thank you. It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. <laughs> it's something from last game. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Yeah. Is that the car from Batman? Not the Batmobile itself, hey, did but... did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. I did, I saw a lady. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? Oh yeah, this per this half a person. You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Oh, that's strange, it is a half a person. It must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yeah, do it. But, hey, isn't benching kinda hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. 
We can only be insomnium for six minutes. It's fine. Don't worry, Tama. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. I mean, he's right there. All right, let's see the locks, guys. Oh, my goodness. The rooms are so far away. On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. Oh, Jesus, man. The very layout of this facility itself, mimicking my brain, will serve as inspiration for my masterpiece. What's going on here? What is he doing? I need to be careful. I can't get too close. He's becoming a superhuman. Now, this. Bionic body's accidental biology. The bionic body creation program. Bionic body creation program. Bio what? BBAB. PPAP. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. But is it gonna be you? <laughs> That's gonna be somebody else. I see. Who would want that getting out? I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. What is happening? No, he ran off. <laughs> Jakar in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. In fact, more bonkers, maybe. He, he's he's like let, letting loose Looks in like here. he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? It is an antibody for sure. They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. I've never seen, I guess people have been, you know, getting crazier as of recent. I don't think Dante's ever run into an antibody. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide. The sync E? It overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? <laughs> yep, he's gonna dick you. If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. Hmm. Hmm. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. Yeah, get rid of his crotch. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move- Oh shit, I I'm clicked sorry. that- Instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. He is a power stancing guy. It's true. Anyway. Let's anyway. check the device first. True. Looks like the power is out. Then no, no mental locks yet, huh? Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Okay, you gotta put your toes away, lady. Jesus. Nice. Her right eye her right eye is covered with a hat. Okay, the first lock is the statue, nice. Second lock is the other statue. It's the left side of the or the right side of the body. Is the okay, there's just bodies everywhere. And the machine is the fourth lock. So we're not really leaving this room at all. Uncover the secret Chikara is hiding. There's no doubt Chikara is hiding something. Open the door and expose what he's hiding. Standard the lock time. on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. That's true. Anyway, that door. Let Let's try to bust it open. Use the blank, join the blank, and create a human. Use the left and right half. Let's see. So which is the first half? Is it this one? The spear? Let's see. A Number warrior one. of the Maasai tribe. A nomadic tribe who predominantly live in Kenya and Tanzania. N interesting. They have great physical ability and are skilled with spears. They are capable of fighting wild beasts. Like Among Maasai warriors, those who jump the highest receive the greatest praise. They're famous for their jumping skills. Damn. If they can beat a lion with spears or their bare hands, they must be really strong. They must be crazy, dude. Jesus. Gain some eyeballs. Cool. Does this help? This door is open. Is this even a door? That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. There's a lot of places oh, to go, guys. It moves sideways. There's a lot of, uh... Th 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 there's a lot of rooms. We're there's here. a lot of rooms. That's the stone statue without power. 
Let's get closer and check it. Okay. Update keys. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stone statues to create a transcendent superhuman. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stone statues. Okay. Activate it. Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you feel around that area? Yes, exactly. That area. Make sure he's turned on real good. What area? Whatever feels right, Tama. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, Tama. Damn, it actually worked. That's crazy. The robot arm control PC has been activated. There's no way that actually worked. <laughs> Just fucking jiggle his crotch around, turn on the machine. Let's go, dude. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. Mm -hmm. It says not available. Stone statue activated. Not available. Wait, so is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. That's a good idea. Right. Let's go back. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? Uh, she she didn't know, but it's what felt right, huh? How did you know? Let's go back to the device. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? This fucking synthwave house. How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. Just fly, Tama. Human, something, something, human, your powers. You can fly to blank if you wanted to. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. Okay, D didn't work. I guess I didn't want it enough. A normal jump won't suffice. We need to think of a way to go up. Maybe we can do something with the device in the center. Yeah, let's finish the first key first. Let's let's try our first key first, and then we'll go from there. We can go. Th let's go back to the main room, which will cause us five seconds. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Jesus. Let's see what we got here. She got her nail done. B B A B. Activating BBAB. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please ah. select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Jakara did. Okay, we gotta get one of the warriors that jump high. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. Maasai warrior astronaut we sounds can good. Combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. So it does. And you select that power on this? Oh. I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yes. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Okay, we're gonna choose the Maasai warrior. Please select right brain function. And we're gonna choose the astronaut. Left. Maasai Warrior. Right. Astronaut selected. Starting experiment. Here we go. We become the Super Jumper Man. Did it work? Nothing happened. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. What's going on? Experiment successful. Just like I expected. Nice. Combined. A Maasai Warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere-piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman life Let's strength. go, dude. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. Yes, we can. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. Let's go. Oh, sorry. We, we, we gotta play the AI Bali. What should I do to relax? Aerial yoga. Whatever that is, feel just many hot yoga. Gotta be a hot yoga. I heard it's hotty, not good for relaxation. -y. 
It's all good, man. Hot, hot yoga is always the answer. Okay. Let's go. Let's move. This door. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the side. To go to the, to the wrong door. Hope not. Okay, it is the right door. Nice. Let's go. All right. Okay. Bam. <laughs> I actually just jumped to the next. I jumped all the way up. Holy shit. The experiment worked. Oh, happy, happy Chikara. Chikara Horadori has done it again. Oh, the epigenetic ecstasy. Oh, the epigenetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? He's become the DNA strand. Oh. By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in this simulation world. There are no limits. Dude, he's, he's having the time of his life. Wonderful world. He's having the time of his life, dude. Out. So every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? <laughs> the weird way to talk you about it. You wanna join? Hell no. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, now we gotta ride the car. Oh, we gotta turn this on. A stone statue without power. Activate it. Nice. Switches in his crotch again. It's always gonna be in his crotch. It's not in his crotch this time. It's in a different this place. This stone statue oh. is a racer. It did work. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split-second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. That's true. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. It says trap? Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Let's search a different area, then. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Mm-hmm. Let's go. So, uh, super reacted reaction by the person trapped by blank. Six, no seven cents. Those who uh, traverse that experience. This story. I wonder. If Let's go find. Okay, now we can head back to the central room through here now. So we don't have to. We can. We can like We're super here. travel. Looks like we can open it from this side now. Nice. Good. Four minutes now. Mm hmm. Let's see, that's the warrior. What is? What does this guy say? Archaeologist? Oh, is he? It's, it's like Indiana Jones. They investigate ruins, and they not only require a scholar's knowledge, but also the decision-making ability to avoid traps placed in ancient ruins. Yes. Just like that one professor. Yeah, the guy with the whip that got chased by that big stone ball. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought it was metal. Was it? I, I don't remember, actually. Try by speed. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Me Meet and you. Car from earlier. And what to do about the trap? What do you think fits best? Okay, I'm gonna choose the racer. Please select right brain function. So, and the archaeologist. Left. Racer. Right. Archaeologist selected. Very Starting good. Starting experiment. Very Gucci. Let's go. Become God. Become as God. One two punch. Hit him with a one two. Experiment successful. Nice. Combined a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps to gain movie protagonist superhuman driving skills. Baby driver moment. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Oh well, this is Shikara's preference. It do be. Now let's go back to the room with the car. Think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, that should lead you there directly. Sounds good. Let's uh be sure to use it. We Up we go. Let's not waste no time. Car we go. Alright, get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. Mm-hmm, you will do so. Ooh, okay. Did it work? What? Okay. Whoa. Oh my god, am I playing? 
I'm not okay. I'm not. I'm not playing actually. That's the trap. I could have done this on my own. That's true. Probably. Tama, behind you. Huh? Oh, there's a stone ball. <laughs> what is it? What is that game uh, with a stone hand? Rock of Ages. It's like that, you know. Oh, so that's when that game was popular. No, I can't do this. You're fine. You have a. You're superhuman. You're a superhuman. It's so easy. Hey, Tama! The road! Easy clap. What about the road? There is no road! Ah! What are we gonna do? You're fine. You're the protagonist. Step on it! On what? The gas! The gas! The gas. gas, gas, gas. gas. Okay. Gotta step on the gas. Let's go. The experiment what? Gara Horatori has the Corpus Callosum is here represented the Corpus by a treacherous ancient ruin. A theory that links this complex and bizarre passage is now complete. Okay, you can stop this. But this should be theoretically impossible. No, there is no impossible in this world. He's in the time of his life right now, guys. Oh, this is not good. Not good indeed. Kara, ew! Why don't you think of it as some kind of reward cutscene? Oh, why would I do that? The fact that I have to force myself to think that already makes it not a reward. That's true, actually. Oh, I'm still on Ivy close to lock too. God damn, dude. I'm inching forward. Let's turn it on. Got it. This is uh Abraham Lincoln. Nice. I have a gambler's oh it's a gambler. I was gonna say I thought this is Abraham Lincoln. But that's lock two. Okay, I think this still that statue true. is a gambler. I guess that means they have guts. So this gambler is known for winning bets when the chips are down. That must mean they can win the big ones without flinching. It's like him in the Constitution papers. Now let's head back to the central room. Okay, there's still one pair we didn't do for. Don't look for it. Blank. You get a blank. Can be blank by any. You person. have three minutes left, Ryuki. Focus. Thanks. We can. Let's go back to the main room from here. No worries. No problems. Let's go ahead and... Oh, oh, shit. It's me, Chikara. We, we know. What the hell? Oh, this is no good. No good. No good at all. Yes, 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 yes. What is happening? Chikara? What is... What, is, what are you doing, Chikara? Now, let's test this. <laughs> <laughs> I love his little face that he makes. Right brain reselection. Okay. Oh. Uh. Um. Oh my God. He's killing the planet. What? What's happening? The room flew away. He's Experiment leaving. Experiment. What? Oh. <laughs> Happy Chikara! Chikara Horatori has done it again! <laughs> oh, oh, ecstasy. Dude, I'm getting a headache from this guy. This right brain you. reselection is a function that blows away my past. The past I don't want anyone to see. Oh, thank you for telling me that. My in right person. brain can be shuffled back into the deck. Goodbye, forbidden memory. What are we gonna do? When this we is the yin yang the shit. Chikara said, theoretically impossible and not good. So maybe we did something he wasn't expecting. What do we do? If we use the device to combine two different brain functions, we might be able to find a way. If we can prevent Chikara from using his right brain reselection thing, we might be able to make it to the room. Exactly. He said something about a memory he doesn't want to be seen. Okay, let's see. What can we, what can we do here? Yeah, but... There was something hidden in the room we were in earlier. If only we could pull it back somehow. We need a big idea here. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. I, I only have like two options left. I'm gonna choose them and see how it goes. 
Like we do fishermen. Please select right brain function. A fisherman who can, you know, gamble. Left. Fisherman. Right. Gambler. Starting experiment. <laughs> He's a f he, he can really pull it back, guys. He can really pull it back. <laughs> I, I guess, maybe? Is that how it works? Oh, right. Yeah. Experiment successful. Nice. Come to obtain superhuman luck. <laughs> to obtain superhuman luck. Luck. Is this gonna do anything? Well, try it. Let's fish back the room that flew away. Of course, this is just too lucky, guys. Yep, we got it. It's so easy. How's it going? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Did we get it? I think oh. I got something. We got it on the line. That must be it. Reel it in. <laughs> Let's go. Nice try, Chikara. Chikara Horidori has done it again. Good. The memory I want to leave behind has already been shuffled. <laughs> nice try, idiot. We, we can get through <sighs> this now. This memory is no good either. I thought I deleted it. No, no, no. 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 If you succeed with the Eternal Youth Experiment, my memory will be discovered. Okay. Eternal Youth Experiment. Goodbye. 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 What is Chikara's happening with this guy? Was replaced with something else. My, my my brain is melting. But it got replaced melting. with another memory he didn't want seen. It might be worth looking into. Chikara <laughs> said that if the Eternal Youth Experiment is successful, his memory will be discovered. So if we complete the research on that device... We might be able to defeat instant death power stance man over there and get into the room he's Oh my god. Okay. Let's, let's, let's give it a try. That's Chikara's that face. statue was a little different. You have to touch Chikara's dick now. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> touch Chikara's dick and turn him on. That stone statue had... Chikara's face hastily slapped on. Chikara said that using Purge, he can create an ageless and undying body. But if we use the stone statue... Turn it on. Oh, no. <laughs> What's the problem? Yeah. Seeing this face... Are you sure about turning it on? Oh, it'll be fine. I've invested too much already. There's no other way. Fine, okay. Yeah, Tama, you got to turn on Chikara. You don't have to caress it, actually. You can just press the button, no? <laughs> you can just caress it. It's it's all, it's all good. Okay, this is Chikara's statue. Oh, you didn't want to touch the crotch because of Chikara's face, huh? Just look away. My theory is almost complete. The creator of a man who blank is blank. Any others? Okay. Uh, let's... It would be nice to create eternal youth and life. And something that will let us get rid of instant death power stance man over... Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. It's, it's one of those where, like, you know, the, the other Please options didn't matter at all. Left. R start. Let's just skip through these really quickly. Come nice. Up the machine. Now we can finally beat up instant death power stance man. Yes, we can. All right, let's go. You only have two minutes. Hurry, Ryuki. Uh, yeah, I know. Go, Tom. Huh. Let's go. Huh. 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 Easy clap emoji. About to clap you. Ah. Uh. You can power stance all you want, buddy. Now. But now that there's no instant death from your crotch, I can kill you. The experiment worked. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Why should humans die? What a waste it is to be. He's, he's mad obsessed with this like infinite life shit. The research results are splendid. But now is not the time. If Chikara gets in our way again, no amount of time is enough time. Let's go. We gotta we gotta dip set, guys. We gotta open the last lock. 
Otherwise, we're screwed. Let's go. Alright, oh, another time? Uh, hold on, we gotta play the eyeball -y. What rank do you like? I'm a... a straw weight, lightweight, heavyweight, bantam weight. I'm a bantam weight guy. 53 or lower is named like a battle robot. What? <laughs> Must be like a heavy guy, right? I don't know how much Bang Tom is, but it sounds very hard. This stone statue is Jakar's memory that he doesn't want to be seen. Turn it on. Yep. Here we go. A nine stone statue. A nine stone nine. statue. Nine in Roman numerals. What is the significance of nine? Maybe he has nine mistresses. Uh, yes, of course. Or maybe he's being sued by nine people. This stone <laughs> statue. Maybe we use a brain function again. Exactly. Should we go back to the central device? This is where we debug Let's him? Let's do it. Or we shaman him. It's either a shaman or a debug situation, right? Let's go back. We can go... Let's quick travel. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Robotic Did arm PC. Can you decide PC. what two brain functions you will combine? Yeah. This should do it. This Beginning should do it. Experiment. Let's get Please this Please select bread. left brain function. Okay, let's choose the... F fisherman? N.A.? Please select right brain function. Let's choose N.A. and 9. Left. N.A. N.A. 9? Right. Nine selected. North American ninth place, just like every LCS. Starting experiment. This again? Yep, it is this again. Sorry, buddy. Oh, what? Oh my what? God! Why? Yo, who the hell is that? The guy? F that's the girl from. That's the girl from uh. F Mass Effect. Experiment successful. They made the video. Oh, no way. Nice at loss. No way. Nice. Nice. Nice at loss is real. No, 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 no. This is. I know. No. They made the video. Bats 490. They made Bats 490. Can I skip this, man? Can I skip this, man? Thank God. Get me out of here. I don't want to watch a nice at loss video. I'm done. I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm through. Oh, God. Going between Nice and Baz 490. Fourth 399th. Interesting. How did it point to the, the genetics facility? And what does he have to do with the genetics facility in Nice? He all he knows about all of this stuff. We have to know. We have to know. Just like uh Nardwar. He's Nice at Laws. We have to know. Welcome. I am the president of the Japanese Nice at Laws branch. Tokiko Shigure. There's no way. Tokiko Shigure. I apologize for visiting so late at night. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Wait, this, it's a real company? And isn't this the guy who is Sosajima's bodyguard? Mr. Ryuki, is it? Mamaru, my secretary, has already informed me. I hear you've come to ask about Jin Furaway's murder. This is strange. This is the president's office on the top floor of the building contained the, uh, the Japanese branch of Nice at Laws. Commonly known as Nyes. When I speak with Chikara earlier, Tom and I saw something in Insomnium. Okay, they were Nyes, and they were, they were from Nyes that made the Bats 490 video. And that's why we ended up here. Came to the President's office to talk with the, with the top level of Nyes. <laughs> the top level of Nyes. So I guess in the past, like recent, whatever half a year, Nyes became a recognizable, like, company? And not just like a hallucination in, in Iris's head? In any case, we'll have to probably save it for next time, because that is all the time we have left for today. Holy smokes, guys. A lot of information, uh, you know, information dump, as well as a Somnium completed by us. 
probably will cut down a little bit of the video to make it underneath in one hour because it's just went shy over but that's gonna be it guys that's gonna be it for us for today if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss this next video and i appreciate you guys for dropping by and uh, chilling out with me if you want to support the channel anyway uh we do have a patreon where you can get early access to videos and that sort of liking stuff as well as supplying uh the funds for our future projects thank you so much guys i really appreciate you i will see you guys next time okay drink some water eat some knives i'll see you guys in the peace side it's on the peace side peace peace Late. <laughs>